Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hooked Podcast. I'm your host, Aiden Projects, and I'm joined here today with co-host uh, Augie RFC, as well as... What's good, guys? As well as Dumpy. <laughs> Why did that completely stop your train of thought when I said that? You're like, uh... Well, I, I just didn't want to talk over you. Um, oh, okay. My name is Dumpy. Consider. My name's Dumpy. I'm the co-host of the podcast. <laughs> co-host Dumpy. Dumpy. Boys, not only do we make it to episode seven, but we got a guest on board. Please welcome Nicholas Diorio to the Hook Show. Yeah, he dug really deep to book this guest. <laughs> oh, I don't think dude. anyone ever expected a collaboration between me, Augie, Aiden, and Dumpy. Your management's crazy, been ducking man. me for two weeks. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I actually hit up your business email for this collaboration, Nick, and I'm surprised they responded through. They're very quick, and we have it here now. Nicholas Fatass Diorio on the podcast. Let's go. <laughs> you, guys, you guys always get so mad when we talk about managers or whatever. You guys still claim John didn't have a manager three years later. Dude, I oh, wish I John's had Swan. John Swan's manager. Aiden, do you like that mention, by the way? Are you perked up? Are you ready to go? Trying trying to trying to manage John Swan is like being Kanye West publicist. It's just the worst <laughs> job. <position. laughs> In what case you're fuck? unaware, John Swan and Aiden aren't super nice to each other, so Aiden treats him like a demon from hell. Yeah, honestly, uh, they're Aiden much needs similar to, get over to how it. I was treated for years from Aiden. Yeah, Aiden needs to get over. You know, I think John is completely running laps on Aiden. Honestly, I've, I've I've examined their beef lately, and I have to come to the conclusion that it's a total John Swan W lately. In fact, Aiden just can't seem to get over it. He's obsessed. He's crazy. So, you know, that's just my diagnosis there, but I'm glad we're, well, I, we're, we're already dropping John's one. Do we want to talk about Flamenco next, boys? But uh. Well, I, oh no, I would say before you do that, I want to be like, well, obviously John Swan has done some like demonstrable war crimes, but like, I mean, it's worth pointing out that every single person he targeted is like the worst person on the planet. How did that happen, dude? That's a really We didn't know good it question. at the time, right? Uh, maybe John has incredible foresight. They're All small right. commentators. If you've been in this community long enough, you could tell that the vast majority of small commentators yeah, turn Nick. out to be weirdos. Yeah, Nick, I mean, look at me, right? Like, I was a small commentator. I leaked your DMs. I fucked Dumpy, you over. You, you could have gone, me. like, either way. There was a point <laughs> where it was like, okay, I don't Dumpy's know if that guy is still a small like, commentator at heart, you know? He's still got that spirit. Uh, still got them small commentator views, dude. That's for sure, <laughs> Dude, will Dumpy ever hit 5K video? Will this podcast hit 5K video again? That's the real question. Dude, it's so funny. The one stuck on 4.9, I swear to God. Like, the Holy last one before, the one we dropped. It's frozen on 4.9 because of Nicholas Yoro. Now he's going to be on. Now it's going to get over the limit and shit. That's what we need, dude. We need more 5K views of video. Dude, me now, and Tom ended our podcast a year ago, right? And we put out like 20-something episodes. Your podcast is still going, and this is episode 7. Um, what happened? You know, here's the thing, right? A very major beef, a very major war began as soon as Hooked began. Um, <laughs> a very fuck you, <laughs> fuck you so hard. I swear, like you decided, like oh, you know, I know Dumpy really wants his podcast to flourish. Let me just get into some beef that's gonna take every single ounce out of my personal life, Technicals. my emotional life, my physical realm. All of my resources will be dedicated to this stupid ass stressful beef. Fuck hooked podcast. You could have still done what, hooked. What beef are you talking Let's about? Let's be real. Are you talking about like when you had like a pedophile in your group? Yeah, the ice cubes. Yeah, when Augie and... burned the bridge with me because oh, I said he didn't that, denounce no, no, no. flamenco hard enough before hooked oh, episode two. There we go. We're oh, three right, minutes no. in, boys. That was the fourth co-host, right? It was flamenco. Yes. Was, yes. Oh my god, we can't go two seconds without flamenco. <laughs> yeah. Now, which really drama would you say, Aiden, <laughs> is your favorite drama of the last year to talk about? Let's break that down. My favorite drama of the last <laughs> year. Uh, um, what do you mean? My, You're I, so stupid, answer? dude. You're unbelievably dumb. I haven't even Holy answered shit. the question. Okay. You know what? Fuck you. All right, Nick Diorio, you're on the show. I do have an actual question for you. Uh, when are you planning on losing all the weight? All right. When are you? Oh, <laughs> you're, you're oh, tomorrow, bro. Oh. Tomorrow. There we go, boys. Now, my second question is, when is the Hassan video <laughs> coming? <laughs> oh, good. This is going to be all the questions. You're just yeah. going to go right down the list. Oh, the Hassan <laughs> video? That'll come out in the in the months between now and never? Oh, cool. Uh, what about the Tipster video? Oh, okay. What about the Vosh video? Oh, I can't wait for this interview. Oh, my God, dude. Tipster. That's a fucking topic we could get into, bro. Did you see Bobax's last stream where he watched like five different fucking Tipster VODs at once? He had a mosaic view. He could hear, like, every tipster thought Dude. in, like, several different windows. It was amazing. 
It's like NFL it like red zone. You know? it's yeah. NFL red zone for tipster. Tipster red zone. You can always. They, oh, it's so good. I love tipster, man. I love tipster. Tipster is a good guy, man. I had some calls with tipster <laughs> uh, about a year ago, and he would tell me like, "Dumpy, I see your brain through my brain. We share the same brain." Whoa. And I left the call. I left the call. I never talked to him since. Fuck That's tipster. I'm blocked. Wow. I'm blocked what what the tipster. fuck? Okay. Hate that guy. <laughs> I was always nice to him, and then it's like, since I'm, like, cool with, like, people that he has beef with, he's like, oh, Dumpy also is a piece of shit, so he blocks me, and it's like, me and him, we had, we shared some special bonds in calls, privately, me and him. You I and Tim Server, uh, you did Yes, dude. Listen, yes. Aiden was looking for topics, because we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel today, but I just want to know, like, top of the, top of the, um, I, I think most people in the chat want to know, what are the odds that Tipster comes out as trans? Ah, uh, let's one. just pull everybody Dude. in the uh, pull everybody in the call. Ninety-five percent. Tips is one to ten. One pick one one of the ten. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's just my answer, man. That's just I. I do think there's a slim chance, you know, maybe Tipster doesn't go down that path or whatever. But slim. slim. Dude, slim. you go to his Twitter. Dude. Well, did you hear that last stream? Like, Bald Black's pulled the clay. He's like. I've been way more uh, open to talking about myself with now myself. and like my true feelings and stuff. I, don't I can know, touch dude. myself uh, and I don't feel guilty anymore. He's saying whoa. weird stuff like this, you know. It's very strange stuff coming from Tipster's mouth lately. He denounced God, you know. That was Are a big you one. Serious? <laughs> Embraced Keffels, denounced God. This is the same guy who would wear a cross necklace and go on stream and be like, "Oh, it is natural titty milk if it's a transgender person with a penis." <laughs> yeah. They should give it to their babies. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Aiden's about to get so nervous now because he's, Oh, that's TOS. We gotta delete that from the VOD. You can't say that. Shut the fuck Guys, up. Guys, notice how I live rent-free in Augie's head. I'm not even talking. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, what, about, what about the F word in your head? Oh, my what? God. Jews? That doesn't... Mm. Okay. It's just flamenc flamenc oh. flamenc 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 well, this he, guy just blows, dude. All the comments are saying replace this guy with John Swan. Every day, I'm agreeing more and more and more, you know? Yeah, do it so they could hear some nasally whiny fuck. At least, <laughs> at least bully- <laughs> You? Bully, you? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, bullying me produces more content than John Swan when he actually tries. John Swan literally had to steal <laughs> jokes from Nick DiOrio to fake having a personality. Oh, I tried to form a wedge with the guest. Whoa. Excuse me, he was extremely Australian, which led to a lot of quality videos all right he had a decent he didn't sound like a brit bonger whose teeth were about to fall out he Fuck spoke Australian ele elegantly people. yeah <laughs> Dude, Dude, i have such a horrible history for australian people i swear to god it started to back in 2019 honest, yeah it's just long documented history like these youtubers have a few hundred subs i had like 1k they're like oh dumpy yes man no love the videos good videos Are you about they blow up no, fuck that guy. They Prezair, up. Oh they my god. They they overpass Dumpy and then it's like they they just act like I don't even exist, bro. Fuck Australian people. They'll use you, they'll fucking I said this in the group chat before. Imagine you're a grape, wet grape, juicy. They'll turn you into a fucking raisin, bro. Keep your distance. <laughs> Do you remember all the Wise old words. heads? Like all the all the names that people forget? Do you guys remember the death of Flexecutive? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. I love that. That's my favorite death of all time. 2020, right? <laughs> what the the downfall. You can't say love that. It. Wait, what? What do you Wait, wait, we can't say that? Dude, dude, dude. Did he no. actually Did he actually die? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, he's dead. He's wait, dead. wait, are you serious? Wait, are you serious? He's like, like died of like died of like cancer. Wait, or something. wait, the guy that was shooting up heroin uh, while he had cancer died? Remember the <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Do you remember okay, the rest guy who was like we don't disrespect stream? Dude, he and did said he like, ate his own cum, all right, right? Let's yeah. let the dead rest. What's that called? Snowballed? The Dude, you think of all the great characters in the commentary community, he was definitely like a, a Hall of Famer over there, you know? Like, I remember, <laughs> Well, he had like the, the voice where he's like, Hey, guys, uh... <laughs> out of, out of all the people we could bully... Heroin addict. Out of all the people we could bully, why are we picking on the dead guy? <laughs> Listen, I'm not picking him. I'm glorifying his name. If you think that I have hatred or malice in my heart for that guy, he was a great man and he served his hours, you know? The, <laughs> he served his hours for the sake of the community, oh, for the sake no. of the lore. He Listen, no, he didn't. He was wrote chasing a great that story. rush. He was very dedicated to what he did. Nick, what's your favorite drama you've covered? Let's talk about that since you're the guest on the show. It's a good question. Oh, 
Ah, that's a fucking that's a loaded question. My it favorite is. drama ever. Oh fuck. I mean, realistically, it probably has to be like the I'm Alex stuff. Dude, like back in 2019. I was, 2019. I'm kind of so I was with Alex so in person Alex. while that was happening. You destroyed that man. Well, oh, I mean, there's the the story everybody knows about like the VidCon party when people like left the room to watch Tom's video in private or whatever, and they were all just like pacing the fucking uh, hotel lobby or whatever yeah, after, and seeing him and Willie Mac in in one room, it was very awkward. Yeah, it, let's the, talk about how in the episode three you told the story of uh, let, fuck that scratch. Let me get to the the point. Let's talk about how episode four you told the story about Quibble Cop, right? Quibble Cop basically grooming you into uh, molestation. That never happened. And then right, you, literally, the you literally, you literally, you <laughs> literally told the same exact story on episode three, and you're like, "This is an exclusive. Why are you guys talking well, okay, over me? This is a really okay, big story, guys." Defense, what the fuck? You told the same in, episode a year a year before. In my defense, there was a year between those two episodes, so like <laughs> I may have forgot. Come on, we, it's now. Why year was there a year? year? between those two episodes. Well, that's what I was explaining earlier. You know, we got you and me <laughs> Nick, you and me personally got invested in one of the greatest wars of our entire lives, okay? We had I had to dedicate 100% of my mind and willpower to the battle, okay? And it I'm not going to But there's only you know, 3 of you here. I had I zero chances to lose. Let's just put it that way, okay? Weren't weren't there four ombres on this podcast? Yeah, one of us is taking a break. <laughs> a break. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, he'll be back. You know, would you let him back in the house? Aiden? I would. I Cyrus. would personally. Wait, this is a totally fucking valid question. All right, if you had to pick on who to bring back, Cyrus or John Swan, who do you pick? Oh, dude, that's a good question, Aiden. Fuck. He would pick the pedophile. No, Hesitation no, means he'd pick the pedophile. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm done. Fuck Cyrus. He's done. He's canceled. I gave Cyrus so much benefit of the fucking doubt. I gave him so oh, many second chances. Show. I literally heard him out. I, fuck you. I gave him so many second chances, so many opportunities to tell me the story. What happened? What happened? After he was exposed, after his fucking channel was gone, all this shit, there was calls, right? He tells me, the girl lied about her age, bro. I have DMs here. Then he asked me for money. He shits on my other friend who's like, yeah, he couldn't send me a hundred bucks, but I know he has the money. Come to find out. He asked that guy for $1,000 for rent money and completely lied to me about it. What the? And then he just fuck, fuck that guy, dude. I, I wish the worst for him. I don't, no, fuck him. John Swan, you're welcome back. Dude. I don't even know what he did, but I feel like now is not a good time to ask. Well, yeah. let's go into it. Let's go into it. It's you know, topic, he did dude. get involved with some minor-ish people. Oh my god. <laughs> it was... How come you guys They wanted it. it. Aiden. Wow. Dude, last... <laughs> okay, buddy. Was... Aiden, our first episode back, Augie's like, so you guys might notice that we're missing someone. And then Aiden's like, he's a pedophile. And now you're going to be like, oh, they wanted it. What are you yes, talking I'm about? Dude, I'm being as serious as possible episode... whenever I talk. Dude, I was watching that episode in the office and I had to like, I, I flinched when I heard he's a pedophile screamed into my ears. I was afraid I didn't have my headphones in. I was just like, oh, fuck. Wait. I did, I did. It was okay. But I just flinched and I'm like, wait, let me just make I'm sure. I'm stunned okay. that you <laughs> actually watch our show. That's an incredible, like, that's insane oh, no. to me. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I almost so... didn't watch it again. Uh, <laughs> that was that was almost a very dangerous situation for me. Holy shit. <laughs> the community needs shows like this, okay? It's true. We really do. Let's be honest. Augie, thoughts? Yeah, I think the community just <laughs> needs some fucking shows, man. You're asking me? <laughs> Listen, all right, I've been out of the game. Do you think the, the community game. needs content to, to, to be in the community? Probably. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know, probably. man. Dude, I've been out of the game. You know, Nick, that's something you and me both share. Both of us have been, let's just be honest with ourselves, you know, let's just be fully transparent with the audience. Both of us have been slightly tapped out of the fucking game. You know, I got my fucking projects and shit, right? But in our time of absence have you looked back and reflect <laughs> and reflect <laughs> and reflect dude on Augie all the things the you've done acts like he's like this big fucking dick swinging philanthropist who can't give us any of the details because he's got it locked and loaded he's like listen man i got some big stuff in the works lots of projects and i'm picturing him with like fucking like glue and paper mache or whatever <laughs> and making something in his ah, house like, i have Carbon. no idea what he's talking fucking about lemonade he's like stand. yeah big things coming soon he's been telling me this for two fucking years just stream Okay, just stream oh like twice God. a week, and then everyone will be like really hyped about it, dude. You could do the um, you could do the paper mache and the fucking uh, <laughs> little little um, little mi macaroni sculptures. Well, some the other same time. to be said for you, buddy. Down. Like, what do you mean, like, dude? 
we are all waiting for the big projects, all right? In fact, you showed me one project. I'm not gonna spoil what the video is, obviously, but it started with a fucking Hitler quote, okay? Let's just put it that way. You know, you Augie, had some ambitious Augie, stuff. Augie, you are a YouTuber. You make content. If I stop going into work one day, a billion dollar company that could be seen on the NASDAQ goes belly up. Okay, I'm just doing the, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm doing the Breaking Bad thing. Right. <laughs> yeah, he works for Lehman. Brothers. I'm the one who knocks. Okay, all right. Yeah, but Nick, I just want to ask though, in, the, in your time of absence, as you've looked back and reflected on, you've watched the community grow and change and move on. What are your thoughts? You know, I think about... the community should be executed in the streets. I think that the community sucks. <laughs> what do you think about Death Noodles? I can't figure that guy out. Based. Oh god, that guy's funny. Death He's Noodles just... is cool now. He's like a completely different person. I gotta be honest with you. I still haven't talked to him because I haven't gotten that far, but I am gonna do a, like something with him at some point. Oh really? Um, he just tweets like, out I want to capstone now. that. I like threes. I like making three videos. You know what I mean? Um, I like having like a like a succinct beginning, middle, and end, even if that wasn't the uh, initial plan going in. And I think um, Def Noodles is like a rare opportunity to do like a. I don't want to say like positive. I'm not trying to make a puff piece, but <laughs> I'm, I'm in a significantly better place with him than any other person I've ever been on like video three for. You know really? what I mean? How the you know it's so funny to me, right? Because I met the guy in person, and Same. it was actually really uh, it was a really interesting experience. And I expected I'd be able to kind of figure him out, but it's kind of confusing to me, right? Because I go, I see him on Twitter. He's calling people gay. He's posting conspiracy theories. He's doing all kinds. I'm making jo fascist jokes on Twitter, and he's liking them and interacting with them, which if you know the, the story between me and Def Noodles, like, he made a thread calling me a fascist, right? And we even talked about that on our and episode. And he's making, like, edgy jokes. Like, didn't he, like, stop being gay or something the other day on Twitter? Yeah, he like, told, oh, he like, told uh, Zerka or whatever to stop being gay. How can, you not, <laughs> how can you not read him? It's clear what this guy is. He's a grifter that goes with the popular opinion. Now that the tides well, turn a little more that. right. Maybe he is, but I like him like this. <laughs> you like the grift? So <laughs> drifting is cool. All he does now. I mean, I think everybody's a grifter. He just in this tweets out space. really. To no, I just I met him. I think he's chill. Honestly, I thought it was a. Uh, I briefly spoke to him or whatever. It was pretty fun. I like the uh, energy he's putting out. But I'm gonna be real with you. It's not like this decision came to me overnight. Where I'd be like, oh, let's make a more positive spun Deaf Noodles. Well, video. Nick, I he reached out to me in January. I made him wait until June. I meet a lot I think of chill that was people. Enough time. I meet a lot you know of chill I mean? people, but that doesn't mean they have anything to offer to the world. And somebody like Deaf Noodles. All right, just... but none of you guys offer anything to the fucking world. Whoa! <laughs> don't be dumb. Aiden, what have you provided for the beat. world? If anything, you've just ruined the good name I've, of Trump. I have spent. I'll answer next. I'll, I'll answer next. Uh, I want to. I've spent next. my time volunteering in homeless shelters. I've been on the front, the the front lines of Ukraine, charging. You're a fucking battle. freak. This guy invited me to a funeral. He's like, "Hey, Nick, we live in the same state. Would you like to go to a funeral with me?" He's a fucking weirdo, dude. Total weirdo. I hate this kid. Yeah, fuck his granddad, dude. Fuck him. Yeah, right. <laughs> his personal family funeral. Like, his mom died. And you're, <laughs> and you're, Nick, can you come over, please? And you're like, fuck you, dude. That's fucked up, Nick, because all he's asking for is a helping hand. All he's asking for is a no, friend. He was grieving I mean, his friend. You know what asshole? happened? Is, oh, my after, God. After I left, he, he showed up with a blunt just to get, like, a picture that says pack watch, and he sent it to me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wow. Wait, you're saying I showed up to Bianca Devin's fucking funeral with a fucking blunt and I took a picture. That's like a. That would be like a fuck. I would have gotten in a lot of trouble if I did that. Dumpy, what is everyone knew to that the world? <laughs> everyone knew what do I provide was, to yeah. the world? I provide happiness, joy, entertainment to the millions in the <laughs> arena. I provide fucking money to homeless people outside Starbucks. I provide lots and lots to the world. I am a savior. I'm a white savior, a black savior. I'm everything, dude. I am Dumpy. We are Dumpy. We are one. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't provide basically anything to anybody. Realistically, <laughs> I did a stream the other day and... A part of it was for Edwin because I wanted to put a capstone oh, on that situation. The Edwin situation. But, well, we yeah, can talk yeah. About that. So, yeah. Let me let me give you this kind of rundown. I told Edwin that I would do a debate with him in fucking February. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't foresee it going so well. I figured that he just wouldn't want to have that combo. But I put my two cents in to kind of like I pre-ordered my time slot with Edwin in case I needed it. Six yeah. months later or something, right? And it's, it, oh God, it's fucking, it's May. It's June. It's July, okay? And he's messaging me and all this shit. Actually, funny fucking story. One day he hits me up and he's like heated, right? I had talked to him like three times prior to this from February to fucking May, right? And he gets me in the call and he's like, 
I don't really like how you said this. I don't like how you said that. And I'm like, huh, you're coming in a little hot, buddy. Um, what's going on? Is everything okay? And he's like, yeah, I just watched your video. Wait, I'm like, what? wait, you just saw my video now. Like six months after it was released. Oh, more. Like wow. eight months after. And I was getting 24. All right, back when I and used you to didn't be a hockey know that. coach. Well, yeah, yeah. When I was a hockey coach for high school hockey, uh, we had a rule called the 24-hour rule. If you're pissed at a coach, you have to wait 24 hours to call them. Edwin had not waited the 24 hours, so he was fucking like zonked bro like he like, was coming for me as soon as he emotionally reacted to the video he was in your dms like what the fuck bitch yeah yeah and I, I had no idea i thought we were having a normal conversation but he wasn't really letting it on until he kind of got pissed and then um i was like all right do me because he's like i'll make a fucking video on you da, 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 da. and i'm like well wait hold on because you know how edwin's whole thing is he never was planning on making a video on me little did i find out right the only reason he hadn't considered that is because he hadn't watched my video yet the minute he watched <laughs> it, he was immediately like i'm gonna make a fucking video on you it was really funny uh, i was like just give me 24 hours then like talk to me tomorrow we'll see where we stand there and he's like okay no i think this is a good idea we'll just go on we'll do our stream we'll have our yeah. chat or whatever um but I'm like, oh, God. So I have to dedicate, like, a whole fucking weekend uh, to, like, prepping for this convo because I need to know what I'm talking about. And this shit happened in January, my guy. Okay, so I have oh, to figure yeah. out Oh, yeah, I'm not everything. remembering shit after, like, two months, like, It took most. me, like, three days, and I fucking swear I knew his cancellation better than Edwin by the time that call happened. I'm going to be honest really? with you. I was fine. But the biggest issue for me is this was, like, the, the weekend Ico went psychotic. Um... And that was a fucking shit show. Uh, I don't uh, know if you're familiar with Ico. His, yeah, we might talk about her in a second. No, I'll yeah. say this about the Edwin stuff or whatever. Like, just full disclosure. Like, I talked to Edwin, I think, with you. And I think Matt Pitt was there. And Tommy C. I or whatever. Was there. Like, Oh, yeah, Adam was there, too. Like, it was, like, two days before you guys had your conversation. And even I was surprised. And I guess I shouldn't be because it makes sense. But I was surprised with how much, like, Edwin had to say, like, sort of in response because we argued for like quite a bit or whatever just about like criticisms he had of me you had Ultimately, a good convo with him i wish some of that was public too but yeah i mean it would have been interesting to have that publicly instead of privately i guess we're kind of <laughs> i guess we're cucking the audience but i mean i'll talk about it now or whatever right like he he had a lot to say in defense of himself and i didn't agree with everything he was saying there was a couple points I had to admit that I was like, oh, okay, that's fair enough. Like, I mean, let's just be reasonable here. But um, yeah, that drama got very fucking sticky and tangly and everything, you know. So it was it was interesting. Well, there to was hear you all guys the community problems that people had with Edwin Bo Blacks and all the stuff that we talked about on that ah, stream. Oh, and yeah. then there was, quite frankly, a sexual assault allegation. Was that true? And well, I, I never like really. Like, okay, when I first heard about the sexual assault allegation against Edwin, like, I was like, well, Who damn, cares? if that's true, that's fucking, yeah, okay, that's my, that was my take, I was like, let's go, W. Edwin, no, when I heard it, I was just like, alright, if that's true, yeah, that's pretty fucked, you have to fucked, acknowledge, but... that's the most damaging thing to his brand, and it's also right. the subject I mean, of a massive Keemstar live He's stream, a me-tuber, you know? that's what Ico calls him, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it true? Like, that's what I still don't get, was there any merit to the accusation? No, no, once no, I heard, uh, I didn't heard like a month of. in- I've... Aiko wasn't even that uncomfortable with the fucking car ride from hell. Like, she actually was, like, chill with, like, a lot of other things. And then once I heard that, I was like, really? Wait, Aiko okay. was the person that accused him, no, right? No, not Aiko. Not Aiko. Bad. Not Aiko. Sorry, Bridget. the other one. Whatever. Yeah, that's actually an important distinction to make. Babs Babara. Babs Babs. Going back to kind of the lore, on this weekend, I'm sitting here trying to, like, get all this information, and I made the mistake of asking for a timestamp. Now, I assume Aiko is doing better. I haven't heard from her, but at one point she had sent me over 130 something messages. She get checked out at like Fousey's psych ward or something. Well, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to speculate too much. People were saying maybe it was like lack of sleep. Some people told me she was microdosing mushrooms. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's all. She was like, not herself. She pulled a that weekend. On <laughs> She was in a dark. Dude, if I'm doing big expose streams for eight months of my life on one particular person the last thing i want to be on is fucking shrooms but to be honest that's the last thing i want to do period like look well, respect to aiko for the work that she's put in as long as she's telling the truth and not just like lying about things dude, i don't really know but the she specifics. was telling me she's like creating a whole edwin you wiki can't, or something you yeah, can't spend insane. that much time focused on one person you're gonna go nuts you're gonna become that's why delusional. she wanna, like oh, you won't lie defense, do that. that's why she cuts it with tipster content too 
<laughs> I don't think you honestly with Tipster's the exception. I don't think you can cover Tipster and ever go delusional. He's just a joy in the world. You know, he's a he's a delightful laugh. Well, because when you're covering Edwin, you're talking about a situation that happened in his an past. investigation. You can watch a Tipster stream in real time, and it's hilarious. <laughs> it's retarded. He's yeah. the most uninteresting of all the lol cows, though. And like whenever no, he's not. Whenever you are just not dedicated enough. Whenever I focus Bullshit. on the interesting ones, you guys are like you talk about them too much. Like stop talking about flamenco. <laughs> yeah. But wait, but well, flamenco's a good one too. But you but always type some... Flamingo to me, you asshole. You're always like, you platform a pedophile. Go kill your Sweepy, or, uh... sweeping it under the rug. Ah, <laughs> okay. But back on subject, so I had the Ico shit going. I'm researching all this Edwin stuff. And people are messaging me. They're like, why are you fucking platforming him? Don't give him... It was literally some, like, don't give him a platform to defend himself type shit. And I was I just that. like, first of all, I already agreed to do this conversation. I'm not backing out of it. Two, I would like to kind of do this because, like... Um, I, I didn't really agree with a lot of, like, the sexual assault shit that was coming out, so I kind of wanted to address some of the more community-related points. That was at least the goal until Babs asked a question. And three, I saw it as an opportunity to make a good fucking paycheck that day, and I thought it went fantastic, all right? True. You know, I got myself a brand new arcade one-up. Really? <laughs> From the Edwin money? Dude, the Edwin money delivered me a nice Miss Pac-Man deluxe. Nick, why That's does it sound like crazy. Michael Vick is in your house right now? <laughs> the dogs wow. just bark. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> that was... Now we're throwing allegations of Michael Vickening happening. At I have like Guru's three house. of them, and they're just like loud. I'm trying to like live lower my microphone volume so you can't hear them as much, but when I talk, there's nothing I can do. We know exactly what they look like just by hearing them. They're like little crusty dogs. Like, you know the type. The ones that just don't shut up. The ones you had, right? Not anymore. Well, I can't really debate this because they're not shutting up right now. <laughs> oh, debating defending your dog is crazy. I would no, never I'm gonna, do that. I would never I'm gonna do, my dog. He's shit. He's shit in the floor. I'm going to do downstairs. what you and John Swan did to Tank and make like a whole video essay about why your dog should oh be put my. down. Wow. I'm going to rip that, your dog They did half. do that, though. Like lay out Wait, the point. Yeah, the they, they were like, uh, so here's we why the dog should be put on, down. We did a diss track on Deji's dead dog. Oh, my God. You guys thought Tom did the first commentary <laughs> diss track? No siree, okay? I don't know why, you know, shitting on people's dead dogs, that really should be off limits, guys. I mean, come on now. Yes, yeah, but that one guy earlier on, <laughs> what was his name? Uh, fucking Fedmeister, what was his name? I forgot his name. Fedmeister? Uh, the guy no, that the, tried the, to touch Pokemon and she blew bottom? Flex, flex, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, let the dead rest. <laughs> Wait, he actually died. Yes! He didn't speak! I'll be honest, right? When you guys brought up that topic, I went off that side tangent. I was like, oh, yeah, that guy. Man, I'm glad he's gone or whatever. I had no idea he was dead. I only remember him. Oh, uh, you gotta one... apologize. No, listen. Okay, I'm I'm sorry to the loved ones of Flex Executive for saying I'm glad he's gone. I only thought, my only knowledge of this guy was the internet personality Flex Executive. And I remember like being in a call with him and Mango, and I think Nick oh was there too or something. Holy and everyone shit! Everyone was like shitting on these people, and it, it's that, that's all I remember. That's my knowledge Guys, of them. <clears throat> if you're no watching this podcast dead. right now, okay. If you're watching, I just want to see who's still here, okay. Right, R.I.P. to Top G Glizzy Gooner, okay. And that's how we'll know that you are still watching. Yes. And you support Flex Executive, all right. See, that's the Glizzy you know, Gooner. We've spent like major. <laughs> we've spent a good portion of this podcast just shitting on a dead guy. Congratulations. Not, Let's talk about I'm Mango. not shitting. Mango, I'm Mango, 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 them. Mango. Them, all right. By the way, that's how you know. Let's talk Nick. about Mango. I cannot Mango. talk about Mango. Do you have an NDA? Do you have an NDA? There's, let's just say there's ma there's tension there. You and you Whoa. and her had an escapade in Hawaii. <laughs> so that? so let me tell you let me tell you something really quick. I <laughs> was at a party with Mango. I don't know me who too. invited I was Mango. The same party. Those are great parties. Apparently, man. nobody. Oh yeah, you two were there. I forgot. You guys were that un yeah, was unmemorable. But anyways. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mango okay, gave me like a, it was like a gummy kind of thing and I ate it and apparently it was an edible. Um, I Wait, I'm so sorry. Dude, Aiden tells this story every fucking year. Okay, <laughs> somebody else gave him weed Wait, at VidCon. No, when he was it a wasn't minor. weed. First, it was it wasn't Alex. Weed. It wasn't then weed. Then it was like it wasn't fucking. Oh, it Alex wasn't never weed. gave me weed. First of all, I don't know. You told everybody that Alex gave you no, drugs. No, I did not. Elvis no, I did not. Alien. No, I did not. No, I. Then it was Elvis the alien. Then no, it was Nerd I did City. not. I mean, you never, you never accused Nerd City. I can't joke it about was that. Definitely about Nerd City. No, Why is the guy on me fucking blocked? 
on every First Twitter account I make. Uh, Dude, I like Nerd City. He doesn't have me. I'm blocked. Alex was underage too back then, but he didn't do it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but what I was gonna say was basically Mango then claimed, "Hey, uh, he didn't pay me back for the edible I gave him," and I'm like, "Wait, pay you? There was a transaction." Mango broke off a piece of an edible and just gave it to me. And I, first of all, why would you admit that you gave a kid drugs? I'm um, not saying it's a big deal. It's just weed. But what drug was it? You said it's not weed. So what kind of edible was it? I don't know what it was because it didn't hit. I didn't feel anything. It, what? I, so did she just give you a fucking brownie? I, like, I, are you just gay? Just a gummy, I think. the worst cringe? drug story I've ever heard. Are you just Usually are you fucking a disgusting? story is like, I had something and it was laced with this and I was tripping but, balls and going crazy. Your you, story dude, was that you took an edible and nothing happened. No, fucking... but then tried to claim <laughs> I scammed her. Really? Yeah, like what? There was no transaction. What? Dude, they like ripped a piece of a fucking brownie off of Illuminati's fucking dirty floor. And they she, gave it to you my and point is, you to pay for she's it. that money hungry. She ran out of boyfriends to milk for everything they have. Whoa. So she, she's now like resorting to like, I, I ate maybe like a dollar worth of gummies. And she's like, she's like, wait, he, he owes me money when there was no transaction ever made. And what yet, a stupid BPD. Did I ever tell you the time that Ma did Flexecutive leave Mango in the will? <laughs> oh, Mango what thought the I, no, Mango man. thought that I'm Alex was sending her like subliminal messages because he unfollowed her, and then she like ran onto like a military base in the woods and was like texting <laughs> me like pictures like of herself in the fucking woods, and I'm like, go. Get help. Well, to be fair, Aiden, you did the same thing to me in 2020. Whenever you went manic and you had some, you had some crazy situation. And you were like, you know what, dude? Fuck my parents, dude. I'm out. And then you <laughs> you like, like double knife the, a cop or whatever. Station, dude, Aiden away. called me and he goes, "I just pulled the gun off of a cop." That <laughs> never <laughs> had gone. A, a cop pointed a gun at him, and then like Aiden like responded by like raising his knife, that, and then the cop like lunged towards him for some reason because that's what people with guns do. And Aiden that disarmed never, him and had what? two weapons pointed at the police officer. So guys, and then he was Nick called down. me once. So guys, Nick called me once, and he's like, "Yeah, I've just gotten in with ISIS. They've just recruited me. I have a All vest right, on." Okay, Augie, do you remember that call? Do you remember the call where he told us that he like had a fucking shootout with a police officer? A shoot where? Sure how did we? Like, after hours. Wait, how did we go? How did we go from disarming a cop to having a shootout? Wait, what is going on? You executed him like fucking. Wait, like, now I've now I've now I've committed murder. No, no, no! You told me that you were like holding That's a gun never... on a cop. What? The first. It was like the most Xbox the first live, time, like the first time I ever I held ever a gun. The first time I've ever even touched a gun was this year. Was this fucking year with Augie? Dude, you were a nah. troubled fucking retard. Okay. You guys think I'm like yeah, Jesse James, yeah. like fucking outlaw of the West? I, I yeah, I think you're autistic Jesse James. <laughs> Holy shit! No, okay. Aiden has some crazy stories. Can we he talk could... more about how autism is bad? Oh man, shots fired. Can we talk about how autistic people deserve the fucking least in life, and I should squeeze <laughs> the autism out of their fucking brain so they're normal. <laughs> All right, everyone's thoughts on eugenics? Go. Based. <laughs> what? No one is. Fire, 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 fire. Wow. Love it. Dumpy Love doesn't it. What, know. Are, what does that mean again? Dumpy's so mean fucked again? up no right idea. now. He has no. Yeah, exactly. He has no idea what Not that means. Not a single clue. What, what a great means. fucking. Is that, is that yeah. when you take an autistic person and you just fucking kill them? Like, what is that? Speaking, <laughs> speaking of drugs, um, what have you done before you got on this podcast, Dumpy? True. Me? You're asking me. Yeah, I'm asking. Me? No, no, I'm asking the other guy named Dumpy. Okay. Of course, I'm asking you, you fucking idiot. Wow, that was I'm a real singer, Aiden. I'm waiting for Dumpy's response. Hold up. Okay. You guys are having some really great podcast banner. This is some good radio right now. You know what, Augie? Shut the fuck up. You know what? Are I all the shows <laughs> like this? Yeah, they're better than this. They're usually better than so. what the, Wait, the fuck that I last so. minute was. Wait, that get, was crazy. Guess who, you no, I'm kidding. This is good. Guess, that that guess, who just, <laughs> guess who just what fucking DM me? Guess who just fucking DM me? Guess who just fucking DM me? John Swan, John Swan, John Swan, John Swan, John Swan. Sky does Minecraft out of nowhere. Shut the fuck oh, up. Get him on the shit. podcast. Dude, Connor sold that guy out for clout. I would sell him out for clout too. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm thinking of Sky Williams. Wait, what? What? Oh, because the Among Us tournament. Do you remember the Among Us? Dude, I won! I won the Among Us tournament. I'm the best Among Us guys. Uh, like and subscribe, hook podcast. Uh, I remember you guys used to get mad now. that I put winners POV in my stream title, so everyone oh else started God. doing it. Really? Yeah. Dude, the Among Us tournament. You need play to come dirty, back, Nick. You play dude. dirty in this. YouTube I cheated. Too, I told you. I had a I had a modded client. How did I win then? I won. 
Well, I didn't use I'm it the all best. the time, but yeah, I had a mod. Oh, okay. I had a modded client, and there was one game where I'm like, "Oh, the game must have glitched, guys." Where I just shut off the kill thing, like the uh, the delay, and I just ran through and I killed everybody on the map. And everyone's like, "Wow, what the fuck was that?" And I'm like, "I don't know, man. I think it glitched out." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's how little fucks you give about Connor's Among Us tournament. He it literally invested twenty thousand dollars to do that. And you just he went broke. Dude, he invested twenty thousand dollars and he banned Sky Williams so he could bring on. Five up or something. Some guy I've never heard of again after five. <laughs> Dude, he was like, "Bro, the big Among Us YouTubers are coming on. Yo, have you heard of any of those motherfuckers? Do they exist?" Uh, no, I uh, know they all died. They all died in 2020. They died after the Among Us tournament. Like it literally sucked their careers out from under them. Dude, Dude it nothing. sucked the glizzies out of. Like, I'm sorry. That's a question that was asked on the official Hooked podcast Twitter account for Nickel Stereo. How many glizzies can you suck at once, Nick? Go. Can we talk about Dude, the 76. Can we talk about the cease and desist that I. I got yesterday from John Swan's no. lawyers. You didn't Shut up. I, 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 oh, I, I, uh, Nick, Augie, Augie, last episode, the autistic hyperfixations, right? <laughs> yes. Again, John Swan, here we go. Let's go. Go. What? Go, talk about it. Let's hear it. Talk about what? Oh They're my god. You are so ass at this. Dude, how are you a, a, a co host on this fucking show, man? You're so. Anytime I direct, like, okay, That's Aiden, true. now it, let's pass on the action to you. You're like, well, because uh, you're like, I don't know what to really do. Okay, fine. What, what am I going to talk about? <laughs> Did you, you just, just said you got a cease and desist from John Swan. What does it say? Read it! That was a, it was a joke. Okay. Go fuck yourself. Fuck, All right, we got some man. questions coming in from the official Hook Podcast account for Nick. Let's wrap up the show with some of these questions. Let's see. How many wrap calories up. does he wrap eat up? We're in 30 a day? minutes in. How yeah, long what are you episodes? smoking? Well, listen, we got. I'm not, I didn't say we have to run through these questions like two minutes, okay? We can elaborate. We can expand. <laughs> uh, Augie, so we can Augie's booked a mail order husband that's going to be there in 30 minutes. So. <laughs> All right, how many calories does Nick Oh, that one got under his skin. Four million. <laughs> There we go. He needs. Here's a question from Alex Gekmo. He needs to fully address the goldfish story. Why did he tell the story the first time as if he was talking about somebody else and say that the guy took the girl, but the second time he told it, he told it as he was the one who won the goldfish but said the guy didn't get the girl. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, so there was a goldfish story that I told. Um, I don't. It must have been like the first time like four years ago and the second time like three years ago probably and it was similar to the Aiden thing like I didn't know I had already told the story and multiple times I like tell the stories and change details in them because whatever and I didn't remember what I told the first time you know what I mean so it was the story about how like I won a goldfish at the fair or whatever because a girl said she wanted a goldfish and then some guy walked over and ate it like right in front of her or whatever it was it was a really funny thing but I and the first time like is that like optically bad to explain correctly? So I probably changed the story a little bit, but that's realistically. So you got the, caught. Uh, the gold you got caught. Yeah, I got caught, dude. I got owned. In fact, this just seems like something that would have been in your Nick Diorio series, Dumpy. Yeah, I mean, I have been tempted to do a part four, and this will probably be in the part four. I'm, honestly, Nick, oh, really? I, I will say, Nick, your name literally brought me to the limelight, and that's what led me to having a career on YouTube, moving out the parents' house. Yeah, that was your Mega first Nation. 5.1K video. Yeah, you're the first views I ever got on YouTube. I mean, that, you got it. I mean, to be fair, the actual first views was a video I made called Face Reveal Deleting Soon, and it was just Augie. And it got 180k. It was my most viewed video. It wasn't yeah, even why did that do so well? Because right. I just because all he has the BWC, dude. BWC <laughs> dude, that video was crazy, man. All right, Augie, do you want to debate the EDP stuff now? Oh, oh my god! Yes. Oh, now Nicholas, we're minutes I mean, I just figured do you want to do an actual con a conversation that we Let's disagree go. on. The real viewers had to wait 40 minutes for the real yep. shit. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Diorio thinks that Sting operations should get banned from YouTube, and I think that's gay. Go. No, I, I think agree. that sting operations without police intervention are basically bad. And I think if YouTube decides to like force that, it raises the bar and could have better outcomes. Oh, yeah, without, that's a totally without, reasonable without position. Without police, the, the only reason the well, only reason they different. weren't able to initially convict EDP was because these like predator hunter guys or whatever they did, they weren't actually working with law enforcement, so it couldn't be used in a court of law by a prosecutor. So he just got away with it again and was able to do it again. Obviously, well, see, this is what I'm points right now that I can't use now. <laughs> oh, this, okay, sorry. This is exactly what I don't understand though, because people are so confused why EDP never got investigated. And they're saying it was because the the investigation, like, because he used a decoy, that that tampered with the entire case. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's how the fucking laws work, right? Decoys are used to convict fucking pedophiles, right? Approved decoys. 
Yeah, there are... Okay, so here's the deal, right? Do you know any, um, I guess, civilians that are just allowed to go check out the murder scene just so they can just put their fingers in there and try to figure out what happened? Uh, no, because there is, no. like... Detectives are... They, they, like, learn this stuff. They get promoted. They do this job. They get trained to do it. And they do it a certain way by, like, the actual code they're supposed to do, like, their own ethics or whatever. It's about ethics and pedo hunting, okay? Um, random, deep south, schizophrenic fucking retard named Chet Goldstein does not have any of these, like, rules, regulations. They don't, He just does it ha whichever way is going to make the most money, okay? So, like, that's not necessarily a good uh, alternative to, like, an actual police investigation. There, like, are things that he can't yeah. do and Here's things that he I can do that they really can't. I don't really understand this argument, right? Because you're saying that sting operations have, like, no net fucking positive to society, right? No, Let's I say, think sting operations do. I think the ones, where, like, where, where, oh, the police are in the next room, as much as I hate Chris Hansen, I do think some of those were probably pretty positive, yeah. Yeah, like, okay. Tetrid Core is a good example. They're actually approved to work with law enforcement. So the I don't think that, that any guy off the street should be involved with, okay, actually. You're saying that's, like, almost every sting operation, though, right? That's it's not true at all. Involved. No, organizations like Predator mean? Poachers, Every Tetrid Core, a lot of them are ex-police. Well, Predator Poachers, They're you guys are basing all your information off of them from 2021 or whatever. I haven't looked into them personally, right? But I've heard people say that they have completely updated how they run things. They work with oh. law enforcement on every investigation, right? So okay, celebrating their fucking ban the and saying... Dude, well, most good. Sting Operation videos on, on TikTok YouTube, and YouTube. Then, then you agree bro, with me. Bro, we, I think we agree, right? But I'm just saying, like, most Sting Operations, like, operate with fucking law enforcement. That's how they get the no, most they do views, not. right? That's no, how you get the fucking not. clickbait. No, the average how? Instagrammer... Wait, if that's the case... That's every the, video I watch no, is with... Pause, 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 pause. If that's the case, then what's the problem? Well, then nothing, Those people right? aren't banned under YouTube rule. I just think that if you don't have police involved, it pushes off the grifters who are just doing this for clout. Listen, well, I'm okay, sorry. Why are we that Chet Goldstein about grifting, guy though? had like a pedophile in a room or whatever, or an alleged pedophile, because I don't even know if his research is very good, right? And he offered him like, all right, if you beat me in a boxing match, I won't report you to the police department or something. I don't know if he. Yeah, went but nobody's defending anyway. that, right? Like, this is what I'm saying, right? If you no, fucking YouTube decoy a pedophile and you expose a fucking pedophile and you publicly shame them, expose them, dox who they are, identify them as a fucking pedophile, regardless of whether they go to jail or not, that is obviously a fucking net positive for society. But right? you know what's a bigger positive? Know. If they go to jail, yeah. get obviously, doxxed, and have right? their lives ruined. That's well, why maybe we shouldn't have random people off the street jumping in and destroying honeypots or fucking well, up active investigations. The only negative all the is that if they get the wrong fucking guy, right? But if they're decoying somebody, they get his information. Or if they get the right guy and they get unusable him. shit so he can't go to jail. And if he's but, not convicted, wait, 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 he can on. change his Just name. He's not on the registry and he could that there was always going to be an investigation on in the first place because of these sting operations highlighting pedophiles that previously had no investigation against them because nobody was even aware of what the fuck they were doing, right? How is that not a net positive? Bring it to okay, the you police. Expose you expose these right. pedophiles, Aiden, you identify Aiden. them, you dox them, you expose them for what they are. You ex Like, even if, worst case scenario, like, I've seen all these videos, right, of these fucking uh, sting guys going to a pedophile's house and they'll fucking force, like, they'll be like, oh, you have to confess that you're a pedophile to your wife, and you have to confess everything that we busted you for, otherwise we're gonna call the cops, right? Now, they call the cops anyway, right? They just tell the pedophile that, they manipulate the pedophile, they publicly shame the pedophile, they expose the pedophile, they go to his fucking house and film it all, right? Even if that guy somehow evades going to jail, his life is fucked. His relationship okay, with his family is fucked. Okay, but how did EDP, like, groom another girl for two years Most later? Most people I'm know that he is a fucking pedophile. He has to, like, completely change his name, go off the fucking grid, which is a massive process that completely upends his entire fucking life. Yeah, obviously that's doing immense damage to his life. Yeah, immense where, damage. So EDP can't make money and now he has li fucking liver disease. But he still got caught with another girl two years later, right? Like yeah, he happened? should be in fucking jail. I don't know why he's not oh, in jail. Oh, no, I know I he know. should be in jail, but what you're telling me, all the negatives, the doxing, the harassment, everything that's so happened to EDP. So you'd rather EDP just nothing happen to him? EDP got jumped at his fucking, like, dialysis thing, and he still groomed another girl. Wouldn't it just be cooler if other people who were more prepared, who did it correctly, just put him in jail the first time? Well, obviously. Easier said than done, yeah, but I mean, we, don't, we can't know what that would have been like if another group came in who did it right and had police. I, I'm sorry, I watched that video back and it fucking breaks my skull. I'm like so annoyed watching him like, because well, EDP is running away at the very end of the video and they're frantically like, oh, what do you mean you're not going to send a squad car? We want to turn over all the 
evidence. Like yeah. it's just so obvious. I just don't it's know why they couldn't submit gross. that information afterwards, even if they fucked it up initially, right? Why couldn't they just be like, look, we bust this guy, we have him talking to fucking what he thinks is a little girl. Why could that evidence not be submitted to arrest EDP? We need to understand why EDP do didn't go to jail to works? properly debate this. What do you mean? Prosecutors, what pros the evidence that prosecutors can use is heavily scrutinized. The defense attorneys have so much to use when, when the evidence is obtained by amateur groups that haven't done it with knowledge of the law. So the, the defense attorneys can exploit loopholes, etc. The prosecutors just can't use that, right? The amateurs get it wrong that all the time because they don't understand. What? That didn't explain anything. You're just saying shit, right? Why well, is prosecutors the information, can't if they have it. a fucking decoy, of, if they have EDP messaging their fucking decoy, oh, I want to fuck you, you're 13, and Because he can say claim it, entrapment. But, you know. Because then he can claim entrapment. He well, can claim he, entrapment. Can he claim can But he pedophiles claim entrapment get locked up with decoys all the fucking time from private investigators. This happens constantly. So what you're saying... They're I, private I investigators that work with law enforcement. They're not amateurs. And the other no, no, with the I mean amateurs, amateurs is, get these guys arrested. I see this all the fucking time. When I look up fucking, because I looked up a bunch of content surrounding this, right? Because I was hearing Nick say that it's based that YouTube is banning this type of content. I'm like, well, how yes. bad is it really? And then every video I'm watching, pedophiles are getting arrested, locked up, humiliated, docked, shamed, okay, their lives let's ruined. Let's talk about a situation where how is this got not good? Arrested. I'm just curious. Do you think there's like any negatives people can do when they get involved in over their head in these sting type situations? Just like I, I understand that you think guy. they're positive, but. Even when they think they've even contacted authorities of some kind. Do you know of any examples maybe in the past where someone's done more harm than good? A predator's gotten shot before. I mean, that's a predator. That's a dummy. I mean, sorry, sorry. The poacher got shot by the poacher. Predator. got oh. shot. Okay. Yeah, you can put yourself in a any, dangerous any, situation. The pedophile examples? might be violent and fucking kill you or something. I oh, no, no, no. This isn't a hypothetical. I'm just wondering, any situations, I don't know, that might have happened in your life. Where uh, the oh, you're just saying Instagram, up wake up. Oh, okay, buddy, you piece of okay, shit. Okay, well, because but that's not a fucking thing. Arguing about operation. how like doxing pedophiles that's completely and ruining different. their that's lives, unrelated. but all you guys accomplished was getting a bunch of pedophiles to fucking destroy their hard drives. No, so Instagram realistically, wake up was going over a fucking group of pedophiles on Instagram that were just sharing yeah, a fucking group links. of pedophiles. That's were not downloading a fucking gigabytes of fucking child close. porn. If you think Instagram wake up is the exact same thing as like predator poachers versus EDP, I'm not arguing you're that, it's an, it's a, that you did a sting operation that you stood outside of a building i'm telling you what happens when amateur pedophile hunters get involved and they're in over their head. right but that's and a that completely was a different situation right where it's like we're not fucking attacking one specific pedophile going to his house fucking baiting him and shit no these are just a bunch of guys sharing cp links on fucking instagram and I'm telling what? you, I think it's really good if YouTube stops people from doing Instagram wake up and makes them just call but the Instagram police Instagram wake first. up is not and then you can make the video. You can about. still expose them to the world, okay? Just do it correctly. And then, like, there's yeah, a higher bar that's what these guys are entry. doing, though. I've yet to see evidence. The only failed sting operation that I've seen is, it's ironically, like the, biggest the EDP one, one right? Yes, but every other video I watch, like... Worst case scenario, the pedophile they're doesn't not gonna go to jail. The failed He's been doxxed, they're not going to post the failed ones. He's been doxxed, family connections destroyed, marriage destroyed. I see this happen literally constantly. Wait, so that's, but then that means it's a good policy. Is. That means it's a good policy then. Because it's the a good only policy to prevent pedophiles could, from getting exposed. That's just, no, it's not because the getting only exposed example regardless you of whether they go to jail or is not. EDP. That's the only example that would be violating this policy. But EDP's All the ones life that you destroyed. claim you've seen use fucking police. Do you think EDP's life wasn't immeasurably destroyed Dude, after the I'm sure the it was really poachers? destroyed when he started texting that new 15-year-old girl. So you think he went through he two to years of losing all of his income, all of his money, his channels, his out? But he his... was able to hurt more kids. So why does any of that yes, matter? because he wasn't in He's jail, also got right? Guns. He Do you could know how many more kids he would have been able to hurt if he had access to all of his platforms and money? This guy was fucking loaded. Now he's homeless. He can't even get a job anywhere. He but he can hurt anywhere. more kids, so none of that matters. The whole point of putting them on the registry oh, and convicting so, them is to prevent wow, them from hurting so so that's a great like, take, Aiden. So because his life was destroyed, nothing happened to him. Really? If You're going to that? If a, it, yes, of course. The, How? That's the, the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Because his life still would have been destroyed if they did it correctly. Yes. Maybe, and maybe life, hypothetically, because I don't think you guys understand how hard he got fucked. I think you just assumed that because he's still not in No, I'm telling you, jail. he could have got fucked harder. Okay. But you're te you're advocating for the ban of a genre of content that has immeasurably damaged no, and I'm, ruined I'm the lives of a billion different pedophiles. That prior to those sting operations existing, those guys would have just continued grooming fucking people. Yeah, well, and doing well, they did anyway. I'm advocating for anyways. All. I'm advocating for anyways. all right, Aiden. I'm advocating but for them to put now the, it's a stricter regulation. 
I'm advocating for them to put stricter regulations on it so that more pedos can go to jail. It's like really simple. Realistically, exactly. everyone should be talking to police. You're telling me all the ones you're watching are talking well, to police. Well, Gideon talked to police so, and he got banned. Okay, but what did, what what was the Gideon situation? Because I'm not up to speed on that. What do you think the it Gideon was? The Gideon situation was that EDP was grooming a minor in Gideon's fucking Discord server. The minor eventually let Gideon know, hey, I'm getting groomed by fucking EDP. Here's the logs. So EDP, or sorry, Gideon, I believe either took control of her account or somehow beta information out of EDP. He sniped him IRL and then confronted him. And he was also working with the police the entire time. He, he did not. He didn't. He, no, he didn't say How? he was working with the police. He said the girl filed a I report. Believe he that's did. what I'm say saying. That. Is to my knowledge, I believe I think he the only literally said in Critical's fucking video where Critical interviewed him that he was working with the police the whole time. I believe no, that he was said his exact he, word. he said he was working with a guy named Skeeter Gino as police contacts. He didn't say he was working with the police. That is not well, what I he heard said. Him I watched say the same Critical video. You watched the Critical video? Yeah. I'm yep. pretty sure he literally said that he's working with the cops. So he's working with a guy that knows the cops. So wait, how's that now working with the cops? I don't understand. Wait, working with a guy that knows the. You think that's the same so thing? So you're as working, working with, with the, the cops. fucking cops? If I'm working, no. if, if me and Ben so are stopping a pedophile and Ben is the guy, EDP. yes, oh that's my. what he's saying. And was it opened by the girl who filed the police report, or was it opened through the the like the, his Skeeter friend or? Whatever? She says she filed a report before, right. even before Gideon. Even before and Gideon. she was also collaborating with Gideon to get the information on EDP the whole time. But were the police involved with them showing up to the dialysis clinic? I'm not or sure about that. Or did they just do that? They just stalked him in public and then went there. So Which, how is again, that a bad thing? Funny, justifiable, whatever. He's already a pedophile. Everyone knows he's a pedophile. All right. But you're saying that the police were involved with the sting, but it doesn't seem like they knew about it. There's also an active investigation on EDP right now that would not have happened without Gideon's fucking involvement. Now, Whoa, I'm, not saying, no. I'm think... not saying that Gideon handled all of that shit correctly. I'm not here to white knight Gideon. I was criticizing, I was shitting on Gideon last episode, right? Well, but, yeah, because Gideon invited EDP to a server where he allegedly yes. met more people, right? Like, but, I was the thing that, was that being server. said, I can look at what Gideon's what Gideon has done in this whole situation and I can look at the end results which is an active police investigation against this guy and I can say that is a net positive for the world wait but Augie all the evidence wait, I'm sorry uh, wait how the... is it a net positive for the world I'm curious because prior to this entire situation there was no fucking police investigation against uh EDP and you're telling me that there wouldn't have been a police investigation even though the girl filed charges prior well not charge filed uh accusations privately. before the dialysis Possibly. center but incident. now we have EDP the on charges had already been filed the charges had already been filed before the dialysis center incident, and he uploaded the dialysis center in incident a month after he filmed it. The charges were already filed. Everything was so. Allegedly. Meanwhile, how and the evidence that she put forward. This investigation? Wait, the evidence that she put forward was him threatening to murder everybody if they met up, and she was doing a sting. For the record. So how is Gideon's involvement like they, hurting this situation? Gideon's no. That's my point. Is Gideon's involvement didn't hurt the situation other than the you know inviting EDP it to the Discord, it. but well, the only yeah. thing that he, he it was a net zero. It was it was morally no, neutral. Okay, that's wrong. he showed up to a place to tell everybody that the biggest pedophile online is a pedophile, uh, wearing his little costume. Uh, it was <laughs> funny. His little yeah, costume. it was funny. Running a pedophile was on camera and ambushing them IRL and recording that entire thing has value. You don't think that has any value at all? Yes, I do. The first time. Everyone knows this guy's a pedophile already. It's just more evidence added to the fucking case. You have him on camera getting confronted in real life with his crimes. Surprise. And is it usable in court because he possibly do it with police? Like, no, I, I, I don't know. Can, I'm not. A, I don't know the law. I think, it is. I think it is. Think the dialysis center shit is usable in court. What would they use? It for? <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what they I'm asking. I don't know. Tape responding to getting ambushed by the fucking allegations that is directly tied to the Wait. fucking case. Do you think that that's not, not going to get thrown Augie, out? Augie, 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 do you know the biggest problem? They're not going to examine Augie, any of that Augie, footage. Augie do you know, can I say one thing? Can I say, okay, can, thank you, Dumpy, for your contribution. The biggest problem, <laughs> no problem that game. prosecutors have, and I'm reading actually statements from them right now, the biggest problem that a lot of prosecutors have with these amateur predator groups is because they don't have prior knowledge of the law, they'll do things that allow defense attorneys to poke holes in the evidence and get it totally thrown out. The Listen, way Judy went about the whole to to thing, any good defense attorney can just point out, hey, this is a this was a bad faith sting out or whatever. I don't know, but this wasn't done professionally, and any good defense attorney could poke holes in it in a court of law. All right, stay out of the legality. That none of us just know. Sounds the like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you're cool. gonna tell me. You're gonna tell me all bad I'm gonna agree with Augie on that one. You're gonna, tell, you're gonna tell me bad no, contribution, look, and then oh okay, no, I think okay. you're probably right. There's just no way to articulate. They can just it. I was say it's bad before. faith. Yeah. Okay, that's we're a great we're all, we're all meaningless law, Aiden. Yeah, we're all I'm not all good. Here's the thing. All right, I'm not doing lawyer. Aiden, jump off a building. Okay, how about that, dude? Die. You should get stung, Aiden. Here's the. 
great. Are we done? Yeah, Here's the thing, all right? Aiden, they can say that it's bad faith, but that also means nothing. Anything could happen. You're just bringing up theoretical stuff. The guy's dressed as a happen. cupcake. Nobody's going to consider so, that professional evidence catching a oh predator. Oh my god, dude. I mean, maybe, but you can't fucking argue I'll that. Give that you, just I'll sounds give you, fucking retarded. I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you $1000 if they manage to use that. They were stressed as a cupcake. So, we have evidence of this pedophile talking to little I'll girls, give, but because the guy was no, dressed in a goofy outfit, the should, evidence wait, is I, dismissable. Augie, Augie, really? Augie, Augie, How do you know that? I think I think they should be able to use it too, but any good defense attorney could get that thrown out they get they get way less shit thrown right, out why all are the you time. arguing like getting it thrown out and legal statute don't, you don't know what the i don't think that's out. true i am I look, I'm, what, wait, look but at, in the in the group chat you just posted a statement from like police officers saying that the stings are are more trouble than they're actually worth like you've yeah, got reasons who gather evidence that don't understand the rules apply in the uh and guide law enforcement our repeated requests for comment from several facebook groups were either ignored or declined i've always wanted to do something to make a difference this was something i could do uh, it doesn't matter what the motive is. It's too dangerous. Like, I, I mean... Yeah, and then they say it causes problems. Even if their intentions are good, it causes problems when it gets to a courtroom because they don't understand the legal rules. I don't so even I understand So I guess the every fuck... The thousands of sting operations that have gotten pedophiles locked up in jail, those are all just anomalies. No, those but all magical. the good ones all the good ones have involved law enforcement. So keep yes, those up. Yes, that's what they all do, Aiden. That's what they all do. Even Wait, you if think they're all motivated for fucking policy. That, 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 that is how you get the fucking views. If I do a video showing up to a pedophile's house versus I show up to a pedophile's house and got him arrested, that's the fucking views. That's where the fucking money's at. So even if so you have no the mindset, problem with this they are fucking motivated policy. to talk to the fucking police. So first of all, first of all, Augie, I just posted numerous examples where these amateurs get it wrong and accuse innocent well, people. Well, I've seen a billion but, examples that prove you wrong, so that doesn't mean anything. What That's do you mean prove me wrong? <laughs> do you, wait, do you I think can, my I claim just, is that I can never 30 videos good? I just watched last week where they got a pedophile arrested. What does do, that do say you about you? Do you think my article? claim is Nothing. that pedophiles never get arrested from from the evidence used my by claim amateurs? Is they very often get arrested. And like, I got evidence, and, and worst case like, scenario, no. yeah, you have you you have evidence. You have a fucking. <laughs> One, what is this bullshit article? Like, this means nothing to me. <laughs> I linked you this three. This means fuck all to me. I linked three you three. examples? Well, guess what? I watched 30 videos last week, and I'm not joking. So, you're Yeah, wrong. and all of those you examples. You just watched pedophile all, shit all day long? Augie, Augie, no, I watched Sting Operations to saying? understand. All of those examples what are these guys doing? On YouTube, I, they all I looked up the top fucking Sting Operations on YouTube, but then I watched them on the, TikTok. I'm watching all these videos. Oh my God. Pedophiles are getting shamed, exposed, You, like, docs, you don't think it's a slight net positive arrested. to force them to do it correctly? You don't think there's like a good issue with that? For, but for the few that go wrong, you can prevent those. The latest example of a fucking Sting Operation getting banned from YouTube is one where they did do it correctly. They did talk to the fucking cops. So that but rules if the cops didn't bullshit. know about the sting operation, it doesn't sound like... I Again, I don't know this for a matter of fact. EDP might have gotten police permission to do the sting operation. The but all I'm hearing is there's an active investigation, so I showed up at his dialysis clinic dressed as a cupcake. That doesn't tell me the police were like, okay, you should, like, do that. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, just think you guys are so I'm overly not trying, critical like, of this type of like, content, and you're ignoring... You guys see this as like, oh, unless the pedophile Oh, Ross in prison for the rest of his life. It's been a giant failure. That's just not yes, true. Yes, because you know what I care well, yes, about? Yes, because not you true. can get him to rot in prison. Exactly, um, and, and prevent the harm of additional kids. If, you, if he's able and, to and go free, dude, dude. immeasurable harm has been done to even the pedophiles that don't get locked up in jail because their whole fucking life is exposed. They're basically, like, you're, they're putting the, these people, publicly Foggy. blasting them. And Here's what they live. Here's what he None of it's worth it if Here's they could still said. go on and hurt kids. Here's some confessing shit to his fucking wife. You know what I mean? Like, that Augie. is obviously damage. Augie. And if when you're going to ignore that, you're just being ignorant. Augie, when, gold, when fucking gold digging fucking clout goblins like Chet Goldstein is involved, okay. the, best case case scenario, scenario, the best case scenario is what you just said, okay? Why if do the I police care are involved, doing this for the worst case scenario is what you just said. It's, it's objectively better The worst case better scenario to is to get their life destroyed. Yes! The worst case scenario is their life's destroyed. The best case scenario is they go to they jail. They go to jail. Why not just use the fucking cops so we don't have to, like, I, I don't understand. So their police, life's destroyed police, police, and police. they go to jail. We yes. Augie, if, if yes, we Nick wins, the Nick wins, Augie loses, but Augie pathetic, Augie crawling, Augie scoping, Nick dude, wins. you're if literally saying a that these guys getting their fucking, you don't think pedophiles getting doxxed, publicly smeared, slandered, their marriage destroyed. They're gonna get doxxed and publicly destroyed. smeared anyway. Their jobs, yeah, that them could, getting Augie, fired that from their still jobs. still if they go to jail. You don't think wait, that wait, has yeah, any measure of damage. Why are you mutually exclusive? You're cutting me off because you know that my point's good. You're cutting, notice that Aiden's trying to cut me off because he knows that my point's good. Let me fucking finish. I, I mean, I'm being bad faith because you won't let me fucking speak. All right. 
Listen, if you don't think these six things I mentioned that are life ruining things ruin their lives, you're being delusional. Those are all I'm good. saying I'm not trying Nobody to ruin their lives. I'm trying to take their freedom. I'm telling you that if a police fucking sting goes on, right? You're still going to get all those but things you just said. You want That's the a worst list of genre of That's content banned that does objective good, and I don't understand why. Because, because it has the ability to do, the to right do way. significant be harm. Better. Yes, life could be better, but guess what? I care about what produces good for the world, and I think sting operations... They should be involved. I think it's still good, good for the world, too. Even if they with don't, in jail they or on the registry and not being able to contact more kids to hurt they them. They produce what good Goldstein for the world. did, did so not prevent EDP from banned. hurting more kids. Thus, it was never worth it. Even if EDP's career is ruined, the fact that he was able to go and hurt another child destroys the purpose of all of that. So you don't think EDP is he life in jail or on the registry with all of his cyber activity monitored, which would happen if Chet Goldstein went through the proper legal means. What already happened to him wasn't good enough. Yes, you're right. It wasn't good enough, but... It was still objectively good. Dude, you don't think EDP... EDP had fucking millions of subs. Tyler, the fucking creator, was his biggest connection. He had connections with everyone on YouTube. You're, why are you Everybody so thought focused he was fucking on funny the subs? What about preventing him from hurting more Dog, kids? Dog, that's his fucking life, dude. What do you mean? Yeah. Why am I obsessed wait, with his fucking you, subs? Okay, that's how he revenge, made his millions of fucking dollars. Aspect, that's why he's homeless what, now, you re fucking retard. That's why he's fucking homeless. And that's why I can't get a fucking job. You moron. Because they took his fucking job. They took everything that he was using to build stuff. Dude, Augie, who are you arguing against? Nobody disagreed that he didn't deserve to go homeless or whatever. So that was just a bad faith argument that Aiden just dropped. I don't know can what I, the fuck he's talking can about. Can I give like, can I get like 30 seconds to just talking to just while explain I gave it. this? Because we're all talking because you were cutting me off, and it's fucking gay. Can I just have 30 seconds to explain what I'm yeah, trying yeah. to say? Speak okay. your truth, King. So your whole argument is that they should have their lives ruined, doxed, and all this stuff, right? Okay. Yes, worst case scenario, it's still a morally good thing that happened. Okay. I agree. That's like the next sentence that's coming out of my mouth. But best case scenario, all that happens, and they go to jail. So like, all you gotta do is just work a little harder, but okay? You wanna ban and then you can you can make your content and it's good. great. But you're not banning content. You're just asking them not to be degenerate vigilantes, okay? If, like it's actually no, no, like no. they're still vigilantes. You agree but like, with YouTube's decision to ban content that does a morally good thing, in my opinion. Yes, That's people who saying. can do a morally harmful thing with fucking up active investigations, destroying honeypots, creating like unsalvageable situations where you have like a, a pedophile dead to rights who can't go to jail now. So most and of you're these arguing all these examples about how most of these people them in the fucking first are place. working with law enforcement. So obviously they get it too, because that's like the benchmark, if I most guess. Most of these pedophiles that were getting exposed by these sting operations, the sting never fucking happened, they would still be pedophiles and they wouldn't be caught yet or exposed. Wait, Augie, good. I have one question. Good. What? Why was it? Wait, what? How was that good? Because Wait. the sting operations happened and they got caught. That's Dude, good. There's no That's investigations good. against these fucking pedophiles. The only time they get fucking exposed is when something happens to them. And these sting operations happen. They fucking bait pedophiles. They use decoys. Yeah, and I agree. And I think they should keep happening. I just think you should have to have the police involved to do it. I mean, you should. So it's but above. So it's above record. Fuck. We're yeah. going in circles at this point, or whatever. Wait, but. can I just ask one question as a closer? If yeah, working, if working just a little bit harder, if working just a little bit harder, and incentivizing working just a little bit harder, will will ensure that less kids get harmed? Because working a little harder can ensure it's done through legal means. They're on the registry. You know what's ensuring more kids get harmed? Banning sting operations. I, no one's banning sting operations. They're just they saying you can't be fucking degenerate <laughs> vigilantes. You guys are agree with YouTube. What do you mean? Work. You agree with YouTube's rule, bro? What the fuck? Yes. Of course you agree. Yes, with that. it's a good rule. That's what I'm saying, dude. The rule isn't good because it leads to more fucking harm. Fuck. It doesn't lead to more harm. Fuck people you. who do this wrong, people who do this wrong, lead to more harm. It leads to people like That's EDP not being true. the most famous uncaught pedophile. Like it's crazy. But it's EDP's like his life was destroyed. He could have had access to, to a thousand could, times his life could more have been children, destroyed and he could have been raped without in jail. predator poachers. He, but he keeps getting to harm more and more kids because nobody's going through the proper legal means. So even if his life is he ruined, which been I think is a, which, 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 let me add, which the let me, kids okay, okay, you're gonna complain, without I'm getting exposed. You. Okay, all of that is great, that his life is ruined, right? But the fact that he can just continue doing it over and over and over again should should mean people should start going through the proper legal means. So he's on a registry, his cyber yes. activity so now is you're monitored, just he's banned from using computers. Debating. Dude, what? his life could have been <laughs> ruined, and could have been an ass rape prison, dude. Like, I don't understand how you don't see that as a significantly better option it for really not that much a more better work. option, but I'm just saying, like, that you t I don't like YouTube banning sting operations. I don't like that They're at all. They're not banning sting Nobody's operations. Asking no for sting that. operations they are banned. Are. <laughs> okay, but they they just banned Jideon. 
who had police involvement. That wasn't as weird. Obviously- that was didn't a have sting police operation. involvement in the sting operation. The police report was wrong. wait, Augie. The police re- no, you're right, Nick. The police report had already been filed. Everything was given to law enforcement, and then the cupcake incident happened. The cupcake incident had nothing to do with proving him to be a pedophile again. Do you guys agree again. with that getting banned though? Uh, no, not really. What about you, Nick? I think that the cupcakes are. Um, sorry, I'm not Nick. Fuck. Well, Shigidian I acknowledge did- that it's probably good to have him on record saying that stuff. It seems like they have him pretty, like, down in the DMs. I think there's a lot of information there. Uh, I don't know. If it, if it gets I, I thrown YouTube's out, it didn't there. do any inherent harm. But generally, no. I think that you should have to have police there. Yeah, as a general rule, it's good. But in this specific example, like, it, this was not a sting operation. This if I had to pick up. between this sting operation that happened... It wasn't which, a sting. And a police sting... Oh, yeah, it's not a sting, because he wasn't actually there to meet anybody. I saw people thought he was going to a fucking convenience store. Realistically, just showing up and fucking recording somebody, it, is that even considered a sting at that point? No, well, it's, it's just not. ambushing. It's... Like, I don't know. They, yeah, they it's confronted an ambush in real life. after the evidence has already been obtained. They already filed everything. So like, more information is bad. What? Here's the thing. More, now, like, more I don't know. I don't want to go into stuff. No, I just, more did you, are, you, are you deaf? Did I not just say I think they fucked up with this specific example? I think as a general practice, it's good to encourage them to do it legally. I think with this specific banning, I think it was pretty bad. The way they went about it. And this wasn't even a sting operation, so it's irrelevant to my I argument. I don't know. I mean, look, Maybe we're... it is bad, though. Maybe it is bad. Because this girl comes out of, like, is working with Jideon. Jideon is running a fucking circus show. I don't know. Could this have a negative impact on their case? Gen- just, just generally don't speaking. See, I just don't see how. Okay. Well, hopefully he gets convicted. And if he doesn't, uh, on the Hooked episode, I'm going to rub it in. Forever. But here's the thing, right? And this is like the big takeaway. <laughs> Why would that be an own against me if he doesn't get convicted? What the fuck? When, they're, when the defense attorneys get the evidence thrown out. My right. argument is that regardless of whether of the, he goes Ian, to prison or not, a morally binary. good thing has happened because EDP's life has been made 10 times more hellish. All right. Yeah, but Ian, I, thinking, I just wanted Ian, to stop hurting that- kids. You're thinking of this as very biased. Wow, you're so brave. Okay. Thank you for that argument, Aiden. <laughs> no, I, I, I honestly, honestly, <laughs> like that's the only thing that should really matter in this whole thing. I'm, it's, yes, it's like but you're so reduction. tunnel vision that you, you, yeah, I'm in, I'm the side of harm reduction. Holy you guys harm are like, reduction. Aiden, you're like, Aiden, you're like the woman from fucking when Tom was trying to argue at XQC. Just shut up. Okay. I'm, the, I'm of the side of harm reduction. That's my entire fucking argument. You guys are saying if maximum harm is not committed, then it's worthless. If more I don't know kids how aren't you can't even argue hurt. harm reduction if like the alternative to your thing going up is like destroying active evidence. Like I'm sorry, like if you do it with police, there is quite literally less harm that could come to the the, the case. But regardless, it's that's not what I'm trying operation. to say. Yeah. You're thinking okay. of this Aiden as like a binary. You're saying like, okay, well if police are involved, that means it's going to get a conviction, which is absolutely not true. Even if that's not what you're trying to say, it's it's what you're sounding. But like. it's more likely to. Yeah, sure, it is more likely. My issue is that the way that chet goldstein handled the edp situation we are robbed of this of of like actually getting that chance we will never know what would have happened if that information was handed off to police be it nothing or something but now we don't get to know because somebody who wanted to make as much money possible orchestrated it in a way that would get them as much money possible and not do the right thing which would be trying to get the guy put in jail Exactly, that's my, my position. That's my problem with it. And I think that people like that should not be encouraged to do what they're doing. People like that should be forced to do it the right way. People who do it like that shouldn't be looking at this as in like, okay, well, we're going to do the DM drop here with the live stream here to get this many super chats. And then if we hit this certain donation goal, we can get this stream out early. And then we'll release the video after we hype it up on Twitter and th- try to sell the VOD to Keemstar. No, I'm sorry. Fuck that shit. It should be about getting the fucking kids safe and putting the guy in jail. That's exactly. Then what make I said. the video after it's done. Make the video after like you're like reasonably not fucking up the investigation, and you'll still make all your money. The guy's life will still be ruined. He'll still have get doxxed and harassed exactly the way that you want it to. But there's less of an opportunity for something to go wrong and fuck it up. When in reality, we we want this guy put in jail. That's the end game. Yeah, yeah, and I guess for my, position. if we're doing, like, conclusion, conclusionary, like, fucking statement, because we have been going on, like, circles or yeah. whatever at this point, right? I just want to make my point clear, okay? Like, I don't see, I, when I'm looking at sting operations, right, 
they're going after a bunch of fucking pedophiles that nobody knew about. They're fucking baiting people. They're fucking baiting like Craig, who's 50 years old, down the fucking street that all of his neighbors, all the people around him, nobody had any idea this guy was a sick fuck that was into kids. This guy could be a fucking married man with children himself, right? Nobody had any suspicions he was a fucking pedophile. He gets baited by fucking, I don't know, some random fucking account. Some sting guy, some amateur sting guys show up to his fucking house, record him on fucking camera, tape him or whatever. Let's say they don't involve the police, which is wrong. They should, right? But let's say that they don't. The worst case scenario there is that they got that guy's information. They show up to his house. They outed him. They revealed his DMs. They Usually they force him to like fucking call his like white. They, they were like, hold No, that's the best case scenario. That's not the worst case scenario. But I thought you I said that they saying. have to go to jail. That's. Well, no, no, the best case scenario in the avenue you're taking where they don't go to police and do it the right way, that's the best thing you can hope for. If you do it the way I'm saying, it's the worst thing. Because let's say it doesn't get a conviction. Let's say something happens, the evidence isn't good enough, it gets overturned. Okay, now you can go public because you're not fucking up an ongoing investigation. The police didn't do their job. Oh, okay, ruin his life. Okay, now he's docs as long as he's actually done the crime, right? When, I, when you're doing it the way I'm saying it, the worst thing is your best case scenario. The best case scenario is what we're actually trying to achieve. Yeah. I mean, the, obviously the goal so should be getting them locked Nick? up or whatever, right? But exposing them, I Dude, think, Nick does w. demonstrable fucking harm. I, and I think you guys are ignoring that aspect of it. But that's really what the debate is. I mean, I think it's that about outing people does... It's about among pedophile hunters. It's like <laughs> uh, pedogate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Ultimately, obviously, we're on the same side of stopping pedophiles, but um, thank God, all right. We just want to get that out there for. Yeah, all I got a virtue signal. Thought, so like, Aiden, I'm glad you I, I got a virtue signal side. so that Fl Aiden Flamenco, can fucking. Like, I don't know. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> all right, you listen, okay. <laughs> Pick a side. Or We're on the side of stopping pedophiles, but I just think that the worst case scenario that you're describing that is why that content should be fucking removed and why YouTube made a base decision. Um, no, I don't think that's a base decision at all from YouTube. I think that, that there's no evidence that these guys are committing a demonstrable harm to the world. In fact, they're doing a great service to the world by the very least exposing people that otherwise nobody in their communities had any idea were sick fucks. So, EDP was already accused months earlier. And eight allegations. Cared. Eight nobody allegations cared. prior to the Czech gold. Uh, no, nobody gave cared. a shit. That's why. What do you think niche made communities the predator cared. poachers pick him as a target? Because, because a niche community of people, a small. I remember because I did an after hours. Yeah, no, I agree with all that one. stuff. Nobody cared about it until yeah. predator poachers happened. That was actually crazy. Everyone forgot about the fucking eight prior accusations. Yeah, everyone forgot about it, but I remember when it first came out. I remember when they came out too, but they had no fucking traction. As soon as people saw the fat fuck outside confessing to his crimes, that's when it clicked in people's brains. Oh shit, a viral video. I care oh, about shit. this. Oh, EDP shit. is a pedophile. That's, that's when Critical is making right? videos about it. And I, I think this works in my favor better. They knew that this guy was, like, at the very least, likely a pedophile based off of that first interaction, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like they just stumbled on EDP and they were just like messaging a bunch of big content creators hoping one of them fucks kids, right? They had reason to enter this domain and begin to interact with him. And yeah. it was orchestrated in such a way that it was, I, I, in my opinion, profit over function. And that's why it bothers me, okay? Because they had all the foresight to do it the right way and they chose not to. And then on the fucking, the last fucking, on the 40 yard line, all right? They're just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, by the way, um, what do you mean you're not going to send a squad car? Um, well, but he's getting away or whatever. When realistically they could have been shot. They could have been killed. This guy's guns, right? Uh, this, this could have gone a billion different ways that, that, that could have gone even worse than it already did. Um, uh, and it, it just, it's disappointing. It's just really disappointing. And I'm hoping that YouTube looked at that situation and said, like, I don't want anything like that to happen again. I want it to be I better. Don't and I want to make sure it's better. And I want to make sure. Or anything like that. Well, re realistically, YouTube looked at it and said, it's a huge liability and we're going to get sued. But realistically, I hope they looked at it and said, like, no, I think we should be better at. I, I think that those would they people get sued, should be better. Though? I don't understand en that argument. Encouraging vigilantism is. I, I don't know. If. To be honest, I, I don't think it would stick, but who fucking knows? Again, they're not, not responsible for the content. If somebody killed themselves published. or whatever and they sued the fucking Yeah, but isn't there a, a, a rule about content? promoting dangerous acts and one of these amateurs was literally shot, like, while doing it? Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why YouTube takes this kind of content down in other areas, right? Like, you can't put up, like, smut films, gore, and all that stuff. Yeah. If the guy fucking killed himself on camera and it got uploaded to YouTube, <laughs> I mean, 
I mean, like, well, they would impose that. Even if he didn't write, like, I mean, he, that, honestly, that would have been the best outcome. Too. It's yeah. inherently <laughs> dangerous. It's inherently dangerous to go and Sensor confront that. these people in person if you're not an armed. Uh, yeah, uh, they got mace. They got fucking knives. They got guns. One guy died. He fucking got impaled by a tribalistic anger. Okay, here. That that didn't happen. But his name yeah. was Skew Whoop. It's a. It's dangerous if you're not. If you're not. Is that, armed is too. that rich's intro skawoop no it's skibbity skibbity bobby 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 bobby. <laughs> <laughs> dumpy his first contribution the last 35 dumpy minutes dumpy n-word dumpy <laughs> n-word dumpy is black dumpy is a minority let's go chat let's go nice all right guys what are we gonna do next because well, i'm over the debate aiden nope you get talked over let's go to the hooked podcast questions we've hit our oh, yes nicholas diorio we got 32 questions 32 bangers for we, 32? Are you ready? 32 we do not have no 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 32? 32, 32 32 32 yeah how does he manage to get the best moments out of all spurgs that's Nick, a good question go. I bully autistic people, and I'm extremely ableist. It's pretty easy okay. to milk a spurg, you know? No, I don't know what it is. I Even, like, non-fucking retarded A-logs and shit like that, for some reason, I just have, like, a really punchable face, I guess. I don't know. Like, um, I, I don't know why I'm Alex decided to get in the call with me in 2019. I'm not really sure why. Everyone's and, always, like, intrigued by you, like, either yeah. positively or negatively. They're like, ugh, you know? Yeah, I, for, I don't know what it is, but it's helped me, like, tremendously throughout the internet stuff. True. Brings in the okay. content. Okay. Next up from career, we have can he unblock me? Probably not, but if you email me, maybe. Nice, nice, nice. We have uh, next here. We have uh, what are his thoughts on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Oh. Um, I think that everyone should get along. Agreed. I agree with that. Next up from raw meat, we have what is his favorite thing off the McDonald's menu? Um, good question. They have pretty good ranch. What are the ranch? <laughs> what? The ranch? I like, I like their ranch dipping sauce. Uh, it's like, I was not like the, you to say the nuggies shit, like, or you know. Why well, I dip the nuggies in the ranch? You, you know, know, like I like the seafood. McLobster. <laughs> you know, it's the McLobster. Yeah, they that used exists. to have this. It like, does sauce. It was like the Mick hot sauce or something. No, it's not not the hot sauce. The buffalo sauce they have now, but they had like Such this wild. sauce, and then I think they had to take it off the menu because people were like shitting blood. But it was like really hot. Like, <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck! <laughs> The, the mighty way you hot sauce. That's answered the, one. the question. Yeah. Wait, D- Dumpy's never heard of a McLobster? What is the McLobster? It's a, it's a limited time McDonald's That's special. That's disgusting. Tip. That sounds cool. I'll this never get that. That question. is that is food poisoning. Next question from Brendan. How long is his blacklist? Long enough to fucking wrap it around your neck and pull, buddy. Keep going. <laughs> Damn. Okay, uh, next from Skew we have, can I get an okay, buddy? Okay, buddy. I can't do the sound effect because we're recording. Um, okay, buddy. Yeah, I usually have the sound <laughs> oh, effect shit. on, but no one's recording. Yeah. Discord. Next from my uh, resident uh, jackass, the poser, will you buy the rights of SFTP and make SFTP your show after Tommy retires for the fifth time? Uh, probably not. I think Shot from the Point ends with Tommy, but I think it would be nice if he... Well, not nice. I think it would be cool if you like gave the show to Matt and then Matt started like a solo thing. That'd be a pretty cool thing. Matt. Okay, Matt. next we have a... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll get your show. Your I show, keep go. forgetting Matt's like Matt. 30-something, so it's not like he's the next generation. It's just like a minor yeah. incremental step. <laughs> yeah. Matt Pity just turns Tommy C. Shop to the point is now recording two. He's a top prospect, <laughs> though. Realistically, he's a top prospect. He's I don't good. Know who else would... Okay, next we have a Destiny-related question. We know you love Destiny. We have it from Abdul. Totodo. He says, "Why doesn't he like Last Wish, despite it being the best raid?" Last Wish in fucking D2? sucks. I hate it. I hate every encounter of it. I think it's a really nice looking raid. That is the only positives I have to say about it. It's terrible. Okay, moving on. We have Gracie who says, "Is there any hope for Star Wars?" Oh, like just in general. Um, yeah, I'm a Marvel shell and I'm a fucking uh, Disney shell. So yeah, always. Ahsoka was pretty good. Okay, uh, next from Useless, we have how far do the Rangers go this year? Depends. Um, it depends on if they can move Goudreau, because um, I think that they need to. I wish they did it before the season started. Depends on how good the... Um, if Offman plays really good, that'd be sick. I really hope to see Patrick Kane come back, even though I don't think he's going to do too much for the team. But uh, I, again, we're coming off an off season where they had like 
the, like an all-star team, like the best team I've ever seen wearing that jersey, and they got destroyed, so I don't know. Okay, moving on next, we have from Brandon MC, is EDP still in the fat community? No, actually, we've, we've denounced him. Um, okay, yeah. okay, awesome. I'm considering that's, leaving that's the fire. fat community because EDP might not get denounced by all of them. Like, Tipster, I think he loves that guy. I'm going to be real. They'll have nothing to really? use against wow. you anymore if you lose weight, so please don't. <laughs> Next up from Top Orange, who says, Who did Nick pay off at X Corp to make his pinned quote retweet on some fight video blow up? Oh, I, I mean, to be honest, that's not... Twitter blue? It, he it paid might be $8 my, to get promoted? Yeah, <laughs> it might be my... I don't know if it's my biggest tweet. Um, no, I think it is. I don't know. There was like a time where I had like a bunch of them pop off or whatever. I had one tweet where I just talked about just a minx looking like she got like beaten in a pub and it got like 60,000 <laughs> likes or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't actually, I got 24,000 likes on tweeting a picture of an article saying the Jews of the canine world pit bulls have been unfairly stereotyped. So like, what the I, fuck? you can any, any like funny random shit I agree. has a chance to go. Like, I mean, I got, what is it? 44,000 likes just posting pictures of Asmongold's room. <laughs> yeah, his room is fucking a abomination. He should be on hoarders. He should be executed for his room being disgusting. Dude, dude are we going through all 30 that, that message with the fight, right? It, the fight message, someone wrote, just stop it. It's never okay to put your hands on a woman. And I wrote back, shut up. And I ratioed her 52,000 to 300. <laughs> to her saying it's not okay to hit women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a, I've, <laughs> what the fuck? And I, I have that as like one of my highlights. If you want to see what I'm about, you just click on it. It's like, yeah, Nick supports violence against women. It's like my first priority, you know. I Wait, got a did good you question. guys see Mysterio got announced in Spider Man Two? That's crazy. I think he was in the trailer. You, no, he wasn't. It's a different game. Never mind. Aiden, do you think I should not go through? A do you think I should not go through the rest of the questions, or what do you think? Because it's like your show, and you're the what? Boss of the show. I, I edit the show. Well, but, we're, you know, like, why, okay. I didn't think you'd take Why would you surrender the rights to the show to Aiden? No, <laughs> I'm just asking Aiden because Aiden owns the show. He directs the show. He produces the show. I edit the show. I'm the slave yeah. of the show. So what, do, what, do we, what are we doing here, Aiden? Producer what do you think? Aiden, what what's the move here? <laughs> Let's openly discuss how we're going to continue this podcast. Because there's a few more questions I want to okay, ask. Okay, then go through. Just oh ask questions. God. Okay. <laughs> say no if you're going to. Okay, William Faggot says, what made him start using the title non-binary? Uh, because I wanted to get the checkbox on YouTube, so in any case where um, that became a benefit in the future, it would be very valuable to me. Okay, I agree. Um, Nigward says, is he built for BBC? Uh, I'm yes. not a huge fan of BBC. I actually do like vagina, but um, yeah. Okay, I've got a question. Smaggle Daggle says, is Nick an ass man or a dick man or a balls man? I feel like one is missing from that. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got to go with, like, the ass, but, I mean... No? Yeah. Not a, I love a good ass. You're not a balls I man? I love a good ass, man. No, I don't think anyone's a balls person. I don't think you ask any woman, they're like, God, the balls are the... Like, that's how you get you in a there. balls chick. Are you okay, well, I will ask you this, Nick. When you're receiving fellatio, are you pro ball suckage or anti? True. I'm not like against it, but it's weird. It's like a weird. I agree. I agree. Usually, I never ask for it, but if I get it, I won't like be like, okay, you can stop doing that. Ah. You know what I'm saying I'll, <laughs> I'll let it happen, but I'm not like gonna fucking get off on that shit. Anyways, next from Quinn, who says, "Can you please release even one song from that no. rap album you did in high school?" Ah. Next, we have from Lenny Laugh, who says, "Who's your least favorite low class?" Lo fuck. Lenny Laugh, who says, who's your least favorite lolcow that you're fighting with right now? Oh, that I'm fighting with right now? Uh, well, I feel like least favorite isn't, like, a fair question. If you said, like, who's my least favorite lolcow, it's, like, DSP, because I don't find him interesting. I don't, like, I don't understand the... I mean, I think he's a loser, but I don't find him interesting enough to watch all the time. I think Tipster is terrible, and I think he's really annoying, but I wouldn't say he's my least favorite lolcow. I love watching his content. It makes me laugh. So least favorite lol cow would be like i guess the most boring and i guess at that point maybe it's flamenco i no, feel like flamenco is tired i feel like flamenco no i'm sorry i understand and that you're kind of new at this but like flamenco has been looping for a full calendar year all right he has had like no new arguments he just Dude, shows up saying Nick keeps, lied, like, us in everyone's these smearing me all right, they're mad because i said like the f because nick said like I, I said the f slur to nick or something like that like it's just I can't show up and do the same thing every single day of my life, but he has, like, PTSD. Or I, I think we call it Groundhog Day, where he wakes up and every day is the day I ruined his life. And it's just not fun for me anymore. 
Um, am I ever considering just combining all three of my videos and adding a little commentary and milking that for a main channel video if I come back? It would be a pretty solid, easy uh, venture. But uh, I, I, I'm not really – like. I, the last two times I talked to Flamanco, I wasn't digging to get on. People wanted me on there because it's like, oh, I'm going to parade this animal around. The Nick's going to come on and everyone's going to watch it. They're going to show it on After Hours or whatever. He's not it's even cool. a person anymore. He's an animal. No, he's not a person anymore. He's like absolutely not. I think of him <laughs> as like a caged animal. Like it's just like he just you just poke him with a stick and then he goes, I'm going to fight Smaggle on Discord. Like, oh, okay, all right. All right, buddy. I, I'm, and I, I mean, like, okay, go for it. Oh, I'm going to debate every single one of Augie's foe. Okay. All right, man. Um, If you want to do that, I'm going to take my grandmother's inheritance and then go back to streaming and do the exact same thing that got me in trouble in the first place. Oh. I'm okay, man. I mean, I, I just, I for me, it's boring, but I understand why other people still like it. I feel that I understand your concerns. And the last <laughs> question we'll be going over is from Demon Cradle, who asks, favorite arcade game, fighting or otherwise? Not a big fighting game fan. I, I own a Mortal Kombat arcade one up with all those, and I own a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with the Street Fighter stuff as, like, soft modded on. So I, I have, like, a big, solid, like, all the main ones outside of like Killer Instinct, and I'm just not. Um, I, I have more fun playing like the shooting games like T2 and like NFL Blitz, even though I'm not a big football guy. I don't really care about football at all, actually. Um, but I like that more. I like playing like the Miss Pac Mans, the Pac Mans. Um, and this is like really cringe. If anybody here knows anything about Arcade One Up, I've been loving the Fast and the Furious cabinet. And if you're in the arcade community, which does exist and uh yeah I, I watch a lot of their streams shout out to michael b the game genie okay um i fucking i really like fast and the furious and all those guys hate it i think it's a shit port or something of a of a 2000 age fucking arcade game uh it was fun covering some of their drama one time when when the guy like traded a blitz cabinet for sexual favors with somebody's wife and that story went kind of cool on, on tommy c's show we actually did an arcade one-up show with tommy c and the guy who sold me some of my cabinets on Facebook Marketplace messaged me telling us we did a good job, which was all it was part awesome and part terrifying because he knows where <laughs> I live. Um, oh, so, no. yeah. <laughs> He's like, it's cool Dude. to see my arcades show up on the stream, man. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. The you best. Know, um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the best arcade game is Windjammers by far. I, I tried to get Tommy into that game. Oh, Windjammers. I never heard of that. You throw a frisbee and beat people up. It's great. Oh, that's fun. I like uh, modern retro stuff too. Like, uh, I don't know, some of these modern remakes and stuff. I'm actually Streets of Rage 4. For, uh, best game of all time. I want to play Mortal Kombat 1. I think that comes out this week, but it's like a thousand gigabytes. Why are games so big now? I know. Everything is so big and thick and, and long. And, and, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's really And Starfield weird sucks, stuff. all right? Starfield's fucking terrible. It's not bad, but it's like... Yo, Dumpy, you good over there, buddy? What do you mean? You seem a little uh, out of the loop, you know? Gay. You seem a little, a little loopy. You're a little gay, man. You're a little gay. <laughs> well, you see... This is what the do you mean? longest Dude. podcast, the greatest podcast I've ever produced. This is deserving of a like, a subscribe, We've been a doing notification this for an hour and a half. Spotify, listen, a five-star review. I mean, guys, our podcast is on Spotify. It's half big phone Spotify? Is half it? Nope. Dead. Exactly. What the fuck, Hooked man? Wins, guys. Hooked wins. We won the war again. Great. Yeah, you guys we just came back a year later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. W show, W stream. Put thank us. Thank you uh, so much for give watching. Give us big ratings Hooked on Spotify. Podcast. We're gonna be up on um, Apple Podcasts yeah, soon, so make sure time, to us like rate us positively. Only say good things about us or whatever. You know, be sure to compliment my hosting abilities while you shit on Aiden. You know, because we need we need to see some more Aiden. Did you put the fucking comments. solitaire in this game? Like like in this fucking stream? Are we gonna watch? I actually don't solitaire? know what the gameplay is gonna be. I, I usually always use solitaire. Oh I'm really wait, bad it's at solitaire, you? and that's why. Is that why you're so? <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, it's oh, you. No. That's why everyone what? complains about it. You don't even know how to play solitaire. 